Dream 11 is India's largest sports game with around 50 million registered user base. It's a platform that lets users play fantasy cricket, football, kabaddi, basketball, and hockey. And users can put their sporting knowledge to test and compete with other users. Many people in India are really excited about sports. For me, say for watching a game of cricket, I think the most fun part about it is having those healthy discussions and arguments with friends on, hey, why did they select this player in the team today? Or why did they go with five specialist bowlers versus six? One way to settle these arguments is quite simple. You know, you just create your team on Dream 11 and select the player you think is going to perform as your captain and then see who wins. But we don't want to stop there. What we want is to constantly come up with new ideas and concepts and create an ecosystem of apps to enhance the user's sporting experience. So we want technologies that help us move at a very rapid pace. And that's where Flutter comes in. We were looking for uh, a framework which will help us develop in both iOS and Android together. So we wanted to do a small POC and check if Flutter really works for us. Like, what's the development time, what's the effort taken? As our first step with Flutter, we developed our app Power Predictor. Power Predictor is an app that you can use to predict the outcome of cricket games. Since Android has a lion's share of the Indian market, we thought it made sense to start developing an Android version first. So the biggest challenge that we had was we only were three developers and we all were from different backgrounds. But Flutter made it easy. The Dart language, basically, that's very intuitive. Even if we hire new engineers for Flutter, it's very easy to onboard them onto the platform. There are many features in Flutter that I like. It has a nice integration with dev tools like Android Studio. We really loved hot reloading, instantly debugging your application. If you just make any changes, you save your file and you can immediately see the outcome of it on the emulator or your device. That really helps the developer to develop quickly. So after Android was live and running, we thought the natural step would be to create an iOS app. We had seen that it takes about two to three weeks to get the application up and running with similar frameworks because you need to do platform specific changes. But with Flutter, the application was up and running in two days, which was really amazing. It's single code base in essence. Being sports focused, we actually promote competition a lot within the team. So uh, when we completed the, our Power Predictor app, we challenged our colleagues to crash the app. They tried very hard. To their dismay and our surprise, Flutter apps couldn't be crushed. We couldn't consistently reproduce any issues. So that's amazing that Flutter handles errors really well. In the future, we plan on using Flutter for a lot of our projects because Flutter has just turned out to be a good choice for our team.